friends. So I'm very excited to bring you a brand new style by Envy called Emma. Emma is a human hair synthetic blend. So she is 70% synthetic, 30% human hair. And this should make her more durable. So very excited to look at this piece. Uh, this piece was sent to me by the Beauty Nook for review. So let's get started. Very excited. This brand is new to me, so I've never tried Envy before. So here's what the box looks like. And they sent me a little mask that says, be safe. And I did take her out of the box and uh, make the adjusters as big as possible because I have to do that. <laughs> Uh, real quick, because I know you're going to ask, and I did want to show you, the wig I'm wearing is Aesthetica's Avalon in Vanilla Macchiato. And I put this on because it's a similar style, sort of that curly um, bob type of style. Um, so, the cap on this Emma, let's take a look at her. I just took her out. Oh, look at that color. Oh, by the way, the color is sparkling champagne. I chose this because I am not familiar with this brand and this would be the main blonde in that brand. I don't know if in this synthetic human hair, if the color runs a little bit different or not, because on human hair, you know, the colors can be different. So if you have sparkling champagne and this looks very uh, similar and accurate to your regular full synthetic, let me know in the comments below. There is very little shine to this piece. I am front of, I'm in front of a window with a big ring light, so you know you certainly could get some shine, but to me, to my eye in this room, when I look at it, it's not shiny. So that's a plus. Um, this wig has um, brown dry shampoo on it, and you can see it still has a little shine, but it is lighter, which tends to be more shiny. So the cap is just a wefted cap. It has an extended lace and these nice uh, Velcro adjusters, which I really like, and I've got it let all the way out. Some very soft um, ear tabs here. And then you've got a left side mono part. And there we go. So let's put her on and have a look. So the root on this though is not very dark, but it is very warm. The whole the whole color is a like a golden um blonde. It's very, very pretty. I like it. So let's try this on. Kind of snug right out of the box. I'll be curious as to whether um, it gives me a headache and I will update you on that. It has that snug feeling like a Raquel Welch sort of grippy. Not that it doesn't feel too small per se as it does just very grippy. The depth of the cap, which is something I have a problem with quite often, uh, some caps can be sort of too shallow. This feels pretty good. Uh, my ear tabs are right there. That's actually, for me, not bad. So um, I'm kind of feeling on this cap that because it's grippy, it's going to fit a lot of sizes. I will be updating on this cap, though. I'm going to wear it and, you know, let you know how it feels as I have it on for some length of time. I have a good feeling about it. So it feels good. How pretty is this? I love these curly bobs. I really do. And this color is gorgeous. It really, really is. Let's take a look at this lace front. Get my bio here in there. I didn't put down any root powder. I probably should have. Oops. Let's get the hair 
out of the way. If you can see it. Looks very nice. Since the root is not super dark, you're not getting any terrible nodding or anything. I think it looks really good. I'm actually very impressed with this already. And these fibers, I'm going to tell you what, this is so soft. And also, this is completely flat. There's no, there's nothing. It feels really flat to the head. Oh my gosh, I really like this. So, very impressed with my first Envy piece. So let's, um, so this is out of the box. What I'm going to do is stop the video and I'm going to take the part out. I'm going to sort of mess with it a little bit and I'm going to come back and we'll check it out together what it looks like. All right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, so I'm back. Um, I went ahead and straightened the part. When I did that, I had to kind of mess with it and then it was a mess. So I spritzed it with water <clears throat> and I also spritzed the inside of the cap and put it on a blockhead to dry for a little bit. Um, and it, you know, where I had messed it up, it went right back into uh, shape. I really like this wig so far. Um, I've never had human hair, so I can't compare to that. Um, I typically wear just regular synthetic. So this being a blend, um, it's going to be something new for me. Um, I did also uh, spritz this with water and real quick, just took a little bit of heat. I don't want to put too much of a contour in there, but I did want to get it sort of up. This, And by the way, I looked in um, my magnifying mirror at this lace front and it, it looks really, really good. So. I'm definitely going to wear this off the face and with a contour because this looks so good. Um, now you can see the lace front goes all the way to here. So you can pull this top part back and the coverage on me, which I never get good coverage. I've got a lot of hair that comes out this way. This comes to right here on me. So I did go ahead and put a little bit of root powder on to blend. And like I said, that's actually not bad for me. <laughs> Coverage is um, usually not great for me. So I just kind of take, I can feel the heat off my head and I want to push that and train it up. Um, I really like the style and I really like these fibers so far. I like them because they're not shiny and they just, they really look like real hair and they're very, very soft. Um, I think this would be really super cute, you know, pulled back. That lace front is really good. I'm very impressed. And another thing, I'm, I meant to grab my um, Malibu Blonde. That's what this color reminds me of a lot. I, I was in my wig room and I put this on a blockhead and my Malibu was there and I'm like wow that looks you know really similar <clears throat> so if that's a color that you like um you know it's it's not exact but it's it's pretty close that type of color if you wear that you could certainly wear this very pretty okay um now the negative I did notice about this wig you can't probably see it, but there are a lot of little hairs here. I call them return hairs. Um, I'm not sure if that's the proper technical term, but they're little short hairs that stick out. And I took a little bit of wig wax spray and I put it on there and I went like this and nothing happened. <laughs> it did nothing. So I may... Um, spritz really heavily with water tonight and um which i like to do anyway it's something i typically do i'll spritz the whole wig with water including the inside of the cap and i'll put it on a blockhead because i need caps bigger so if you need a bigger cap that's something to always try and it helps sort of stretch it out and i'll leave that on there overnight 
So this, uh, I'm gonna have to just do another video update on how this goes with this wig. Um, so I'm gonna go outside next and uh, maybe I'll put that in this video as well. So you can see the color outside and maybe these will show up and you can get a, a better look at them. The um, part looks really nice. And like I said, that lace front is also very nice. So I'm very pleased with this piece so far. Um, a lot of times, even after a wash, some of these will go away. So very pretty piece. Let's look at it again. I um, will also put a coupon code down in the description box if you need one for the Beauty Nook. Um, they, uh, they're they a great place to buy wigs. That's where I get all of my wigs from. Um, and as I said, they sent me this one for review, and I am very pleased with it so far. I, I will be doing an update video, though. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop this again, and I'm going to go outside and get some video to show you what it looks like there. back again so um this is what emma looks like after i've played with her and made her sort of the way i like her so i've kind of finger combed because i like my curls broken up not everybody does let me show you she looks you know fuller um show you what she looks like I don't know if I've combed it out that much back here. What I like about this is it covers my sad neck right here. So I like that, that it comes to this area. So as you can see, she is gorgeous. I like her better sort of combed out. Um, I took a little bit of video outside. I will put that in, in this video as well. What do you think? Isn't she beautiful? I'm really happy. Also, now that I've played with her, I'm not seeing those hairs. I, I don't know. Maybe it just needed to be sort of messed up and now they're blended in, but I'm not seeing them now, so that's good. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. I really like this wig. I can't believe I got so lucky to find one I like so well. You know, trying a new brand and a brand new style that come out, it's like, wow, I just really lucked out with something I really like. And so I feel very sexy in this. I'm just going to tell you, okay, when this kind of comes forward, it, I like again that it's it's coming right here. And um, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this too because it's not really touching my shoulders. Of course, it'll be different on everyone. Um, let me see if I can ear tuck this. I can. Okay, how cute is that? I like it. Um, but I think this would be cute um, to just pin this back and then it, you could keep it really from coming forward if you were working or you wanted to make it look more casual or it's windy or whatever. Uh, just one of those little clamp clips, a little tiny one would be cute. Really cute right there. Okay, so I, I'm already getting some mad love for this wig. I've been trying to wear it around the house, and the cap definitely feels like it's adjusting to my head. So if anything changes with that, though, I will let you know. If you are bigger than me, I do not know <laughs> about this. So I think I'm right at the max for this cap. I could be wrong. 
And if you're a seasoned wig wearer with a bigger head who really knows how to stretch your wigs and things like that, then I would certainly try it um, if you're bigger than my head size. You know, it's all relative, right? So if you, if you know how to stretch a wig, give it a go. Because it does seem to have a lot of stretch. Um, and uh, it's so, I think, worth it. I love, this looks like real hair. It, it does not look... I mean, these fibers, it just, it looks like, it looks like real hair. I, I could not, I'm so excited because as most of you know, I love this kind of style. This is what I wear almost every day, even though I do love my long wigs. Uh, realistically, I do keep those for, you know, date night with my husband because he loves the long hair. But um, I find this just more manageable on a day-to-day -day basis and winter's coming. And so... I do like to, you know, have it sort of a little bit off my coat. So anyway, tell me what you think. I like it. I will update again on this piece as I wear it more because I think that's important. It's easy to love a wig. You know, you get it, you're excited, you're like, woohoo, and then you wear it and you're like, eh. So I will let you know if um, something happens with this wig where... I think it's not great or something. I will let you know. But right now, I am just loving these fibers. I'm loving everything about it. Um, I don't feel, personally, that this is too heavy. But somebody, see how it comes forward? Somebody might. I mean, it is all one length, kind of like um, Avalon. Um, but these fibers are very, very light. So, I don't know. I, I think it just, it would be so easy just to, if you were doing a lot of paperwork or bending over to just clip that and that lace front is great and this is not too dark on this color at all to be pulling back so I hope that's helpful and you guys um, give this a try Envy has got some good pieces that just came out um, so definitely go check them out on the Beauty Nook um, website or you can go uh, download the app and check it out because they they've got a few cute new styles um and like i said i'm really really happy to have tried them this is this is really good stuff um yeah you know i definitely should do an update video because i'd like to just curl a piece of this just to see um how this does i'm just curious like how it curls because i've never had a synthetic human blend to play with so, all right, everybody, I'm sorry this is so long. Everybody take care, and if you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments, and I will get to them, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.